The US Congress has voted in favour of new legislation which could lead to the social media app TikTok being banned in the United States. On this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65. One present, two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without the objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Lawmakers allege the app has strong links to the Chinese Communist Party. And they say it's about keeping Americans safe. The bill still needs to pass the Senate to become law. President Joe Biden, though, says he will support the legislation. There's some doubt if the bill will succeed, given America is the app's largest user base. And there's a number of Republicans who are worried about this bill from a civil libertarian standpoint. The idea of the government shutting down a social media platform is something that just doesn't look like it's going to pass muster right now in the Senate. But we shall see negotiations are still underway. And TikTok has deployed its lobbyists to Washington to try to bend the ear of senators right now because they see this as an existential threat. Joining me live is Shadow Home Affairs and Cyber Security Minister James Patterson. Thanks for your time. What do you make of this and what might play out in Australia? Is this something we should keep a close eye on and possibly follow suit on? TikTok is a national security threat for Australia for the same reason it's a national security threat to the United States. Number one, they abuse the data of their users. And number two, they use the app to interfere in our democracy uh, by pumping it full of disinformation and by censoring things which are uh, critical of the Chinese Communist Party. So for the same reason that the House of Representatives has now taken action, the Australian government must take action. Uh, this has been clear for some time now, but there should be no further excuses for the inaction of the Albanese government. They should have already sent drafting instructions to the Department of Home Affairs to get them to prepare equivalent legislation for Australia. Because what this legislation does is it severs the relationship between TikTok and its Chinese company ByteDance and therefore breaks the relationship, the nexus between the Chinese Communist Party and what has become the most dominant source okay. of news and information in the world for young people. So, so that's, is that the official coalition policy, what's happening here though? So either that severing, as you call it, happens or it's just banned in Australia? Well, I'm calling on the Albanese government to make sure that Australia is not left behind here because if the United States solve this, solves this problem for themselves, but Australia is not included in it, then the Chinese Communist Party will continue to have unregulated access to millions of devices mm. of young Australians to influence their views about the world, to abuse their data in ways that have, we know has transparently happened in the past. And that's not a national security threat we should tolerate at any time, but particularly okay. at a time out of heightened strategic competition. When you say solves, though, if, if this plays out in terms of the US enacts it and then TikTok says no thanks and then it's banned in the US, is that solving it in your view? Should we do the same? Well, that would be on TikTok and on its parent company, ByteDance, and its ultimate control of the Chinese Communist Party. They have a pathway here to remain active in the United States, just as if we pass this legislation, right. they have a pathway to remain active in Australia. And I'm not sure that any company, any but rational company, should walk away from a market of 170 million Americans or tens of millions of Australians. Would you be willing for that to happen in Australia if that's the case? Well, it's, the ball is in TikTok's court here, Tom. Uh, it's up to them. Either they operate rationally like any business would and they sell this highly profitable business at an enormously high price and do very well out of it, or they choose to allow their company to be banned because they disregard the law of the United States and fail to comply with it. Now, if you are acting as a rational commercial right. actor, it's very clear what choice you'd make. If you are acting as a sophisticated authoritarian state, you might make a different choice, but that will be a very revealing choice.